Hey everybody, welcome to Homestead Love. So we had some lots of fun stuff going on this week. Um, we're gonna do some updates on the Arrow Garden. You're gonna get some updates on my tomato plants. And I got something new, so stick around and check it out. All right, day 19. You guys are gonna be shocked. These things got huge. They're above. I want it to focus. There we go. They're above our trellis. Looking really good. Those leaves look weird on camera. There's nothing wrong with them. They're fine. <laughs> but yeah, I um, it told me that I needed to go through. The other day it told me this. And I was like, it's a little late for that. And it told me I needed to go through and take out... The extras and only have one per and I was like you know what experiment time I'm gonna leave them in and see what happens and it was funny because my dad was over here yesterday visiting or my mom and dad but um dad was like three might be a few too many for in there <laughs> and I was like yeah probably but we'll see how it goes um if I have some that stay smaller I'll just pull them out eventually but look at this forest of tomatoes and basil I'm super excited tomato basil soup check out this flourishing herb garden over here it looks amazing the lemon balm's doing awesome just going nuts the rosemary looks good the mint looks good oregano is spreading out all over the place it's awesome the sage look at the sage it looks amazing too. Now, remember how I told you I couldn't grow anything inside? My poor herbs. So the other day I woke up and they looked awful. So I brought them outside because I was like, well, they don't like it inside. Look at that. Now the oregano is okay. This rosemary might be okay. I don't know, we'll see. But all the ones that were planted out here are doing okay. This this oregano is not okay. Not okay. So, I got one oregano that made it. But these four plants here, we're just going to have to wait and see. I told you, that house kills plants. I don't know why. I don't understand it. <laughs> but they come in to die. So, no more potted plants in the house, I guess. Hey guys, so I gotta show you what I got. That's right, mom and dad were here and they brought more apples. These ones are bigger, they're not windfalls, they look a lot better. So you guys get to come along. Yeah. All right, so I've got these washed up here and we're gonna start to peel it in corn. Now when I do apples, I use everything. The cores, the peels, all of it. So all my peels and cores, I don't usually deal with them right away. I just do the apple portion of it first. Otherwise it's just there's too much going on. So I take my cores and my peels and I put them in a Ziploc bag and I freeze them until I'm ready to deal with them. These will get turned into apple juice. That's personally what I do with them. We use a lot of apple juice and there's a lot of different things you can cook with apple juice and the kids like to drink it. It's, I don't make it into a juice. It's actually a concentrate, an apple juice concentrate that I make it into. And it actually works quite well. Um, it took me several years to get that recipe down. But I really like it and the kids enjoy it a lot. And it's nice to just have some apple juice concentrate canned in the pantry to be able to just go and grab. So but I like that nothing goes to waste. Like, and dad's got a big old apple tree, so he uh, gets apples every year. And this year, there was a lot of apples in his dead apple year. Last year, I said no to apples because I still had so much stuff down there, but 
this year. I was ready for it because I skipped a year. I was also rusty when I started. Oh my goodness, funny story. What does it say? You can't, you don't need to watch that. Okay, that one's okay. Um, funny story, I didn't think it was funny at all. Um, when I was doing the last batch of apples, my peeler slicer core that I had for 10 plus years, I found it at thrift store for a dollar. And it was super old, cast iron. It worked great. I didn't have any problems with it. But my I couldn't get it to tighten down to the table all the way. And um, we didn't have any tools handy. So I was complaining to my husband. And of course, him being, you know, Mr. Love, you know, he... Went into the bathroom for about 25 minutes, comes out, goes downstairs, grabs a tool, comes up into the kitchen, and proceeds to just tighten it down and not ask me if I already did it. And it snapped. And then I snapped. <laughs> I was so mad. I was in the middle of all my apples, and I had to turn all the temperatures down, let everything simmer, leave, go out, and buy a new apple peeler core. So this is what I ended up finding. I had to go to two places. I went to Ace Hardware first because it was the closest place. And they said they had it in stock online. But when I get there, of course, no. So I ended up going to Kohl's. Found one at Kohl's. Thank goodness it was reasonably priced. Sometimes you see them and they're just out. It's like, really? You want what for that? But... I found one, it all worked out, but, you know, it was not without me getting pretty angry at my husband. <laughs> he was like, how was I supposed to know? Well, you know, your first clue was the whole pan of apples that were already done. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, we're going to get these apples taken care of today. And today I'm doing pie filling. Um, I decided I wanted to have more pie filling than I have in my pantry. I've got probably, let's see, I have five quarts and I think I have ten pints. But I want to have more than that because we really like apple crust in our house. And I can, I mean, I don't typically make pie, but I could. Um, I have made with the apple pie, the little apple pies that you like fold in half, those ones. I've made those before. They turned out really good. The kids loved them. I haven't made them for a while. I should probably do that again. Um, yeah. And their apple pie filling is really good on pancakes too. I don't know if you've ever had it, but it's delicious. Definitely something to think about. Apples are huge. They're filling the pan up so fast. So, me and Mr. Love are also talking about our kitchen remodel that we've got coming up. I already picked paint colors. I'll probably be doing that this winter. Because I am really anxious. It it needs painted in here and it's driving me nuts. It's dark looking. Like you can even see. I'm tired of the same paint color. We've had it since we moved in. I picked it when we moved in and it is time to change it. The kitchen is the last room to get changed. So it's time. Um, but the big thing we have to get picked out is our tile. I need him to pick out the tile, help me pick out the tile. I won't pick it out alone because he has to live with it too. So um, we're going to pick out the tile soon. And once we get that done, then I can pick light fixtures. But I cannot, I can picture, but I can't choose a style of light fixture until I have a tile. <laughs> 
so yeah. Hi, I did that. Yeah, I did I see that. You're silly. You like the apple peeler core, don't you? Yeah. It's cool, huh? This one feels kind of squishy. It's gonna look funny when you peel it, probably. Oh, there's just one soft spot. It wasn't bad, actually. Mine, I want some. Huh. Oh, you want an apple? Mm -hmm. You want that little one? Yeah. Okay, here you go. I want a big one. Oh, you want a big one? Okay. Yeah. Big one or big Biggie, Here's a big one. My jacket's just bigger than this guy. That's gonna be bigger. Not big enough. Yeah? No, 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 no. Okay. Here you go. Now you can have it. What do you say? And what do you say once you have it? Thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> silly bear. All right, I think it's time to start chopping these. I like to cut them in half. Yeah. And then get them over to heat. All the ingredients added. Right. Okay, take your one. apple in the other room and eat it, please, okay? Yeah, it's not really bad. Just gonna use a plate to go on. Why not? This one's chipped. <laughs> See what happens when you have kids. Just gonna cut them all in half. That way, they fit in the jars better. I could leave them like this, but it's fine. They also, I feel like, they just blend better together. Who doesn't hear me? Daddy? Oh, okay. He doesn't. What's that? I'm gonna pull that off. So when I do this, I also cut out bad spots and all that jazz too, typically. Like this brown spot, I'll just pop it out. Good to go. Let's go in with the others. In with the others, please. I'm gonna have so much apple juice this year. Every empty jar I have at the end of the season is gonna end up being used for apple juice, but because I think I have. Six bags of peels and cores now, and I'm filling another. So my freezer doesn't have the space for all that jazz. All right, we're below the top now. Yeah. These will break down on their own, anyways. Yeah. Well, we'll see how many jars we fill with this. We'll see how many jars we fill with this, and I'm gonna get on and um, get the ingredients put in here and get it uh, cooking a little bit. All right, we got the first pan in jars. It's seven and a half jars so far. I'm gonna need more jars, 100%. I'll have to go get those in a little bit. But for now, I need to start peeling and coring more apples here so that I can get this next pan going. What are you doing, you goofball? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Do you want to turn it? Mm -hmm. Here, come turn this. Turn. Oh. Good. Let you go. Can I go? <laughs> All right. Good job. No, no. Stop. Stop turn. Okay. Yeah. Done. Good job. I know how to do it. Yeah. Because you're a ninja. Yeah. Okay. Good. Silly bear. Yeah. 
that's usually about all the help I get from him. Yesterday he wanted to come help with dishes. He dried three dishes and he was done. Yeah. But I'm totally okay with that because it's a start. Know. He's only four. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bubba. What do you think? Oh, you do? Alright, you can do the next one. Yeah, kiss. Do you like helping with apples? Yeah. Yeah? That's nice. Mommy likes having help with apples. Yeah. Anna, Anna used to help me. Yeah. She did. Daddy, I want to I know. I'm helping you. Okay, are you ready? Let me put it on there. Come here. Come on. Come closer over here so that you're not getting. Yeah. <laughs> Reach better. Yeah, because I'm a ninja. Yeah, I'm a ninja. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Please, please stop doing that. Okay. My dad said, cry by you. You're gonna leave me so much to edit, little dude. You're gonna make me do so much more editing. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Oh man. Okay, well we got most of it. Can I get it? I might be able to oh. Ugh. I work for juice. Oh, pretty well for juice. Okay, so last time I did these, I only did pints of apples, regular apples, and I have a buttload of apple <laughs> pie filling already. So I'm gonna do up some quarts of apples too. The pantry's full. <laughs> I think I have one shelf that has a little space on it downstairs. I might have to use it. Good morning. It's time for an update on the garden. So I've had to raise the light three times now because this little guy is growing like crazy. It's time to raise it again, obviously, because some of those plants are touching it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna head outside and we're gonna check out the herbs and see how they're doing. Here we are. They are looking absolutely amazing. I'm happy with these. As 
are these guys. So happy with how good these look. Then my tomatoes. They came out here one day and they were just laying down. Like the cage came out and was laying down completely. I'm surprised they're still standing out. They're kind of lean and on this greenhouse thing. But they're getting big. I'm getting excited. Even if I have green tomatoes, at least I'll get some tomatoes off of it. So it wasn't all for nothing. It's never all for nothing. Sometimes it's just a learning experience, right? I told you I got something new. You probably can't see what it is, but I'm about to put it together. I gotta get a little cleanup work done first, and then I'm on to it. So, let's get a time lapse. We're not in the woods. <sighs> hey, hey guys. So I had to call it quits for lunch yesterday. The little man fell right before that and scratched his hand. So we didn't make it back out.
Here it is. Hold it together. Not sure where I'm putting it yet. Haven't made my mind up. But got it all together. Hey guys. So I officially made some decisions this week. I'm not putting videos out on the schedule. I'm not showing you the final result of the garden, so you're not going to see the overall garden until spring. Until everything is set up, put in place, where I want to put it, because honestly, I haven't decided where I want everything to be at yet. So, some of the things that are back there now could potentially get moved. Um, but yeah. Also wanted to remind everybody that this is just a vlog and I am not a gardening channel. I had a few shout outs and I really appreciate that for all of you who shouted me out. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm not a gardening channel. <laughs> I'm a vlog channel. I'm doing vlogs. And so um, I just wanted to warn everyone because coming up here I'm going to be moving inside and I'm going to be doing some project projects indoors. So, for the winter. So, if you stuck around this long, you probably care. <laughs> but I appreciate you, and thanks for watching. Have a blessed week.